What if I told you that the ground beneath your feet is not as stable as you think? Specifically, let's talk about the African Plate. This massive tectonic plate, also known as the Nubian Plate, covers a vast geographical area that stretches across the entire African continent and even extends into parts of the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. It's a fascinating piece of our planet's geological puzzle, possessing unique characteristics that set it apart from all other tectonic plates. For instance, did you know that the African plate is one of the few major plates that's almost entirely continental rather than oceanic? In this video, we'll explore the ancient origins of the African plate, its fascinating evolution, and the profound impact it's had on the planet's geography and climate. We'll also look at how the African plate continues to shape our world today. So buckle up, it's going to be a thrilling ride. Stay tuned as we delve into the ancient origins and fascinating evolution of the African plate. The formation of the African plate is a tale as old as the Earth itself. This tale begins over 4 billion years ago during the earliest stages of Earth's existence, when the planet was a swirling mass of molten rock. As the Earth cooled, the outer layer solidified into a thin crust, and the process of plate tectonics began. Fast forward to around 300 million years ago, and we find ourselves in the era of Pangaea. This supercontinent was a single massive landmass that contained all of today's continents. The African plate, as we know it, was nestled in the heart of Pangaea, surrounded by what would later become North America, South America, Europe, and Asia. Now let's talk about tectonic shifts. These are movements of the Earth's crust, driven by the heat in the Earth's core. Over millions of years, these shifts caused Pangaea to break apart. This continental drift led to the formation of separate land masses and the birth of the African plate. The African plate didn't just simply break away though, it took a long slow journey, moving a few centimeters each year over hundreds of millions of years. The eastern part of the continent moved north, colliding with the Eurasian plate and forming the mountain ranges of northern Africa. Meanwhile, the western part moved west, opening up the Atlantic Ocean. And it's not just the land that's been affected by these tectonic shifts. The movement of the African plate has also influenced the formation of the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. Moreover, the eastern movement of the plate is causing the East African Rift Valley, a tear in the Earth's crust that's still growing today. The African plate is a testament to the power of the Earth's internal forces. It's a living, moving entity that continues to shape and reshape the world as we know it. It's a constant reminder of our planet's dynamic nature and its capacity for change. So, from a once united supercontinent, the African plate began its unique journey. As time passed, the African plate did not remain static. It evolved, changing the landscape of the continent. The evolution of the African plate is a story billions of years in the making. Its journey began in the Precambrian era, a time when life was just beginning to take shape. During this era, the African plate was part of a supercontinent known as Panotia, which eventually broke up and gave birth to the continents as we know them today. Fast forward to about 130 million years ago, in the early Cretaceous period. A significant event occurred that would forever change the face of Africa. This was the formation of the East African Rift System. This tectonic event was a result of the African plate splitting apart, causing the Earth's crust to thin, and creating a rift valley. The East African Rift System is not just a geographical feature, it's a living testament to the dynamic nature of the Earth's crust. It extends over 6,000 kilometers from the Gulf of Aden in the north to Mozambique in the south. This system is still active today, slowly widening year by year as the African plate continues to split. But the East African Rift System is not the only evidence of the African plate's evolution. Another significant event was the formation of the Atlas Mountains. These majestic peaks, which stretch across Morocco, Algeria, and Tunisia, are the result of the African plate colliding with the Eurasian plate. This collision caused the Earth's crust to buckle and fold, creating the high mountain ranges we see today. And who could forget the formation of the Saharan Desert? This vast expanse of sand and heat is yet another testament to the African plate's journey. It's believed that shifts in the Earth's axis, and the movement of the African plate towards the equator, led to the desertification of this region. But the story of the African plate doesn't end there. Today, it continues to evolve, shaping the continent's landscape. Scientists predict that in the far future, the East African Rift System may eventually split the continent into two. Yes, you heard it right, two separate continents. Imagine the geographical implications that could have. 
The African plate's evolution is a reminder of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet. From the formation of rift valleys to the creation of mountain ranges and even the desertification of vast regions, the African plate has played a significant role in shaping the continent's geography. The African plate has indeed been a dynamic force, constantly transforming and redefining the African landscape. This massive tectonic plate hidden beneath the Earth's surface continues its journey, silently shaping and reshaping the continent we know as Africa. And as it moves, it reminds us of the power and beauty of our ever-evolving planet. The African plate has not only shaped the physical geography of Africa, but also influenced its biodiversity and human civilization. The movements of the African plate have been a major driving force behind the diverse climate and rich biodiversity of Africa. As the plate shifted and collided with other tectonic plates over millions of years, it gave rise to an array of geographical features. Mountains were thrust into the sky, valleys were carved into the earth, and lakes were formed, each playing a significant role in shaping the continent's climate. For instance, the formation of the Great Rift Valley, a product of the divergent boundaries of the African plate, has significantly influenced regional weather patterns. The valley's highlands and lowlands create unique microclimates that foster a wide variety of plant and animal life. Meanwhile, the rise of the Atlas Mountains in the north, a result of the African Plate's collision with the Eurasian Plate, serves as a barrier against the harsh Sahara winds, creating a more temperate climate in the regions beyond. This range in climates across Africa has led to an impressive assortment of ecosystems from lush rainforests to arid deserts, each boasting its own unique collection of flora and fauna. But the African plate's influence extends beyond the natural world. The availability of natural resources dictated by the continent's geology has played a crucial role in human settlement and civilization. The fertile soils of the Nile Valley, for example, are a direct consequence of the African plate's movement. This geological gift allowed ancient civilizations to flourish, marking the beginning of agricultural societies and setting the stage for the development of some of the world's earliest and most influential cultures. The impact of the African plate on Africa is profound. It's not just about the physical shape of the continent. It's about the climate, the biodiversity, and even the human history that has unfolded there. Indeed, the story of the African plate is deeply intertwined with the story of life in Africa. So we've journeyed through time tracing the origins and evolution of the African plate. Let's circle back to the beginning where we discovered the formation of this massive tectonic plate. Born from the fiery depths of the Earth's mantle, the African plate emerged and grew to become the bedrock of the world's second largest continent. This formation process, a marvel of geology, intricately wove the African plate into the very fabric of our planet. We then delved into the evolution of the African plate understanding how it has shifted, shaped, and molded over billions of years. It has not been a static entity, but rather a dynamic, ever-changing force. The evolution of the African plate, much like the turning of pages in a book, narrates a tale of Earth's geological history, a tale that is still being written with each passing second. Next, we explored the impact of the African plate, a tectonic titan whose influence extends far beyond its continental borders. We learned how it has played a pivotal role in shaping not only the geographical landscape, but also the biological and human landscapes. Its movements have birthed mountains, carved valleys and formed lakes, creating diverse habitats that have teemed with life. From the wildebeest of the Serengeti to the ancient civilizations that have risen and fallen on its soil, the African plate has been a silent architect, shaping the course of life as we know it. The African plate is more than just a slab of rock, it's a testament to the power of natural forces and the intricate interplay between geology, biology, and human history. It's the foundation of a continent, the cradle of humanity, and a vital piece in the jigsaw puzzle of our planet's geological narrative. As we stand on this massive tectonic plate, we are standing on millions of years of geological history, a history that continues to shape our world today. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.